Alrighty. Hi everybody, Dave Yelovic back at the International Builders Show. I have uh, arrived at the Ream uh, booth and uh, I want to tell you guys about something. The other day we talked about tankless water heaters for you folks with gas in your house. Uh, that's a good option. But what if you have an all-electric house or maybe, uh, maybe you're remodeling. Maybe you have a gas water heater and you want to remodel, maybe you want to go electric. If you want to save money, actually if you want to save money, no, you want to make money. This is the water heater for you because this is the only water heater in the world I know that will make you money. This is the heat pump water heater. And now you think, well, heat pump's an air conditioner. Well, yeah, it kind of does that too. But this is using the heat from, you know, hey, in Texas, the heat from your attic, the heat from your garage, wherever your water heater is. It's going to grab that heat and harness it through some miracle technology they've got here in their tanks. And uh, it's going to grab that heat and put it into the water and it does it really, really cheap. For every dollar you pay the electric company, um, imagine getting three, three and a half dollars worth of hot water. That way you're making money. Currently, your electric water heater is probably at about 60 to 80% efficient, meaning you give them a dollar, they give you 80 cents worth of hot water. That's not a deal, this is a deal. So talk to your plumber about heat pump water heaters. So how's this thing work? This is it. It's like a little miniature heat pump air conditioner, but this is the thing that grabs the heat from the air and it's going to transfer it down here. This is kind of a regular hot water tank. Uh, they cut it out like I did in an earlier video, by the way, if you've been watching me. And uh, the electric elements are very similar. They've got a lower and an upper heating element. They've got the cold water intake and the hot water. But some of the differences is if we come over here, we'll pan over this way is technically that's the window over there that they gave us for the show but the real fun this is the front of the unit over here most of you guys know temperature pressure relief valve is on every water heater we make that's a safety device required by code so that's going to go down and drain out in case it's needed but this is where the fun begins this is your the brain you're going to push your numbers in here set the temperature and forget it for the most part but uh, we're going to hook up our cold water down at the bottom of the water heater, which is a little unusual for a water heater. And then the hot water is going to come out here and then go out to the house just like regular water heater. These things come in 50, 65, and 80 gallon tanks, which uh, depending on your house, number of teenagers, kids, whatever, um, that'll, that'll take care of most needs that uh, most of you guys out there have. So this one, I believe, is a 50 gallon model. And uh, you can see it's about the size of a regular tanked water heater. If you look real quick to my side, here's a regular water heater, uh, very similar in size, but it's a traditional water heater. So we'll go back over here, but this is where the brains are, but we've got thermostats, something, but we've got the brains here. Now, a heat pump is kind of cool because we've got air going in the top of this thing, the hot air goes in the top, and it's a heat pump, so what do you think comes out is out the back side of this thing comes cold air-conditioned air. Yes, a water heater that heats water and makes air-conditioned air. So if this is in your garage, you guys are working on the car, the water heater is working, you just come over here, put your face here, you cool off. What a deal. Or you car guys could probably run a duct from this and run it to underneath your car where you're working, and it'll keep you cool. What a neat idea. But uh, the technology of these things is incredible. Uh, it makes you money. The payback is two to three years, depending how much water you use. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, also, you might be looking at this thing here. I had a question about, this is an air conditioner up here. So air conditioners, especially in the Gulf Coast area, they condensate. Your air conditioner up in your attic has a condensate drain. This needs a condensate drain too. So. The contractor will put a drain pipe here and he'll drain it to a floor drain, uh, put it on a pump and pump it out of the house, uh, but you got to get that out. Um, it's a really, really cool technology. Reams come a long way over the years. Uh, they started off with the 50, now they've got that and I've heard they're going to have a 40 gallon tank out sometime soon, so look for that. But talk to your plumber. New construction, remodeling, uh, this is the way of the future. So uh, guys, heat pump water heaters, the way to go. Good job, Reem. Thank you.